Hey everyone, I wanted to talk today about black and white, up and down, good or bad, right or wrong, in or out, left or right. I had a talk with the Source today, my inner guides, my inner inner spirit, and uh, I'm very, I've always been extremely aggravated and it's been a pet peeve of mine most of my life that there is a clear divide for most people between these two polarities. Adversely, I believe that because of our tribal mentality, we feel a need to pick one side or the other. Which tribe are you on? Which one do you belong to? And, uh, I want to pose or invite you to contemplate a third option, okay? And that third option being anything. Just invite yourself to consider a third option. You may not know what that is. And also, I invite you the opportunity to consider that along with the third option that it's malleable, pliable, that it can change, adjust, expand, evolve, step back, be edited, your narrative edited, always. Nothing's ironclad or carved in stone. Otherwise, there would be no such thing as constant evolution and movement. Everything is energy. Everything is constantly moving. The hardest steel, metal, concrete, rock, it's moving. Its particles are moving. It's changing. You may not see it, but it is. All right? So why not our perspective. Why not our perspective? In philosophy, which I had taken at the University of York in Toronto, along with the psychology class, is that um, there's an image of an elephant. You can Google it and look it up online. And there's a cartoon of an elephant with about seven or eight or ten little men all around it. One is at the tail, one is at the trunk, one is on the top, one is on the bottom, one is by the foot, one is by the ears. And there's little bubbles exclaiming their perspective. And one says by the tail, this is a rope. And the other one um, by the ear says, this is a large leather fabric. And the one by the trunk says, This is a a large hose for putting out fires. And so because of their narrowed perspective, they all had these magnifying glasses, right? So they were only looking at that one perspective. And that is a really good lesson around having a, a narrative that can be adjusted Now, once they would step back further and further and further away, above, behind, beside, they would get a a larger perspective and realize it's an elephant. Not all of the intricate parts that they've seen. Okay? So even though it's very important to look at those detailed, intricate parts, It's also important to understand that you may not be far back enough and it may be for many reasons. It may not be your choice that you don't see the the big picture, the whole picture. And one of the things that I have subscribed to and expressed diligently with my clients and my audience like you is that do not allow ego to step in and tell you that you know it all because you don't I don't now there's going to be some people that know more than me 
some people that may know less than me, some that may have a different perspective than I do, but I don't believe that even the smartest person in the world knows it all. And as soon as you can subscribe to that understanding of the concept, you don't have to get it. You don't have to live it. You don't have to embody it. It may be difficult. And for me, it is even sometimes too. But understanding that and living my life thinking I don't know it all is uh, a wise, a wise place to be. It leaves many doors open for you to maybe one day know, learn more about people or a situation than you know now. It leaves room for evolution. And so no more black and white, up or down, in or out, right or wrong. Think of that third option. Namaste.